What's up guys, Fell here. Today I am bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. And it is in the zombies mode. It's gonna be the Dire Machine map. And basically what I'm gonna teach you how to do is turn on the power to start off with. And then I'm gonna show you a cool little zombie dog glitch that I found. I don't know if anyone else has found this yet. But I was just messing around, playing around, and I found this little glitch with the zombie dogs. You can basically just get them to stick in the ground. They will respawn after time. You can't just keep them there forever. But they will stick in the ground, and it just gives you, like, a little bit of an advantage if you just want to mess around for a little while or whatever, you know? But first things first, I'm going to teach you how to actually turn the power on in Dying Machine. Now, this is the starting area. You're going to want to buy this door. And when you buy this door, you're going to be in the old Nacta Untoten map, the very first zombie map. You're going to buy this as well. Don't worry, the explosions will not harm you if you stand right next to them. Um, you're going to run up here and to the left on here. You're just following the X marks and the arrows pretty much. Anything with an X marks on it, you can destroy. And you can see the purple arrows on the left and right. They are pointing you in the direction. You're going to pass Juggernaut if you have enough points. I will be buying Juggernaut here and you can just keep going on and destroying these barricades if you want to call them. This wall will magically open for you. You want to choose the left hand door as again following the arrows and the X marks the spot barricade barriers whatever you want to call them. And then you're going to buy this door as well. And now you're in the main frame of the the main power area as such where you're going to be able to pack a punch and things like that so you're just going to run up these stairs open this door turn the power on now once you've turned the power on you're going to have to turn on two terminals as well to fully activate the power and just a little tip if you didn't know you can jump across this area and jump all the rails and everything i actually fouled here but you can jump across the rails and everything like that which is quite handy when you're being chased by zombies you can just jump over a rail and escape I'm finding zombies really, really good. I don't know about everyone else, but this is... I've got a really good feeling about these zombies. I mean, it's got the added benefits of the, the, like, the zombie boss killers and things like that. But I am really enjoying it. It's going to make a lot of a difference because I really haven't enjoyed the, the last zombies in the previous Call of Duties. And I think this one's going to be a good one, boys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. So you're just going to hold F or your designated button to enter the teleportation into the other map. Just try and dodge the zombies while you're doing it as well. Uh, and you should be good. Now you're into the sort of like the upside down from Stranger Things if you've seen this. Now all we're going to do is run back the way we came. So you're just going to run down these stairs up into this little room. Do a left up the stairs past the speed cola machine there. Do a right after you come through this little doorway here up the big stairs into the tunnel area you're going to do a right again and you can see the a for tunnel marker basically it can spawn over on the left there it can spawn over on the right but what i'm showing you here is you can destroy these crystals and you can get essence you can get armor plates you can get all different things you can even get a for crystals as well i think uh from the drop i think i got one once but i wasn't really paying attention because i was a high round when i done this um so yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool little thing to do. You do have time. It isn't like a limited thing. Um, you do have enough time to go around and destroy the crystals and stuff. I think it lasts for a couple of minutes at least. But you don't want to hang around too much in this sort of upside down different teleportation device. Now that is a tunnel. You're going to have to activate that. That will cost 500 coins. And whenever wherever it is and wherever it teleports you, you want to look behind you and you'll find the Pack-A-Punch part. Now run straight back to the mainframe where you turn the power on and you can see that you've got a little marker there indicating where you need to go to drop off the part. Press F on it and you have built your Pack-A-Punch machine. Now that is ready to go. Once you transport back into the, the, the normal time zone, normal area, you can now use the Pack-A-Punch machine, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And you have three stages, 5k, 15k and 30k for the three tiered Pack-A-Punch. And it is absolutely insane, guys. That's all I'm going to say. I'll leave it there. But I did tier 2 a Pack-A-Punch gun. And it absolutely drops zombies left, right, and center. Even the boss zombies, it absolutely drops them. It's really, 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 really good. Let me know if you guys have Pack-A-Punch gun as well. See what you think. What's your favorite Pack-A-Punch gun that you've done so far? Mine is the shotgun that you can buy off the wall in the plane area. I can't remember what it's called, but it is... 
absolutely insane. Now, here we go. This is the zombie dogs glitch. You're going to run up this plane wing here from the main area, just off the left of Nacta and Totem map. And you're just going to sit at the top of this. And basically what you're aiming for is a zombie dog to charge at you like that and jump off. And then he will literally fall in the ground or hover in the air. But basically you want to try and kill a few of the zombie dogs. Like try not to have too many at a time because I did this and died uh, the first or when I tried recording it the first time and I didn't think you'd want to see that. So I didn't leave it in. But yeah, just try and have like one or two dogs up there if you can. And you want them to just charge at you, do their jump because they like to pounce. And then they should land like that either in the air or in the actual ground itself. Now you're going to struggle to kill the ones in the ground sometimes. They are a bit funny. Uh, I found shooting them directly at the very tip of their head does actually work to kill them if not you can just leave it to expire right so that's the second one so the first one will be able to kill really really easily because he's just mid-air and there's nothing stopping you so we'll go ahead and kill him now there we go that's the first one dead now the second one they don't attack you either which is really really nice so you can just stand in front of them you can do whatever but as you can see i'm struggling to kill the second zombie dog no matter what i do i can't seem to score a hit uh, but he is attacking me and then if you shoot directly right at the tip of his nose or mouth You can see that I'm getting hit markers and there you go now the ammo box we can't reach So that's a bit of a problem But basically all you do to solve this is you run up the plane wing again and then just run and jump or just fall off uh, And you'll get the max ammo. So that's a cool little glitch to have um, I don't really know if it's gonna come into any little benefits or anything like that i suppose if you want to just hold two zombie dogs for a little while you can but obviously like i said they will kill themselves and then they'll come back again so you could just keep repeating that if you really want while someone goes and does uh some like easter eggs or pack punches a gun or anything if you want to distract something like that that'd be really handy but other than that i don't think it's going to be much use and it'll probably get patched very very soon anyway as the game has only literally just come out today um so that's pretty much it. I'm going to be uploading some more Call of Duty videos in the future. I'm going to try and do the single player campaign. I'm not going to speak through anything. I'm just going to play it and upload it in uh, in the mission episodes as it comes along. And I'll be doing zombie videos and everything else. I'll be streaming zombies on Twitch TV. I'll leave the link down below. And if you could hit that subscribe button and like button, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope to see you sticking around in the future. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Much love to you all, and get out there grinding on the zombies and multiplayer, guys. Peace out.